Click Social Media's WordPress Tutorials. Today we're going to talk about how to add a photo album to your website. So, uh, for instance, on this particular website, we have a few photo galleries, and you'll see there's thumbnail images. And when you click on the gallery, it will give you um, the list of images, so you can uh, scan through each of the images to view them. So it's kind of a nice feature. I think uh, a lot of people really like it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. Uh, first, you'll want to log in to the back side of your website. And I typically use the plugin that I use for this is Next Gen Gallery. And it's, it's over on the left hand side toolbar. It's just called Gallery, but it's actually called Next Gen Gallery. So if you click on Gallery, there's the title of the plugin I prefer to use. Um, and you'll see that there are um, other options down here as well. You can add images to the gallery, manage a certain gallery, you can create it into an album, which is what you saw on the front page there. Um, there's lots of different options that you can go through. So I'm going to quickly show you how to create um, an album. So the very first thing we want to do is we want to create the gallery. So we go to Manage Gallery, add a new gallery, and we'll name the gallery and this will be called, this particular gallery is called um, uh, Volunteer Appreciation. We'll hit OK and that will add the gallery. The next thing we want to do is we want to add photos to that gallery. So we'll go ahead and add gallery images. We'll select the gallery that we wish to add images to. So that's the one we just added here. And select files. We'll go ahead and select the images we want to add. And hit open. And once you do that, you can hit up Upload Images. And that will just go through and quickly upload each of the images one at a time. It shouldn't take very long. But once it's done, then you'll have a gallery of images. And then that gallery of images can be placed inside of an album, which is what you saw on the front page there. Okay, it's going to scale the, it's going to create the thumbnails as well. Just to kind of show you that again, um, these are the thumbnails. When you click on them, you'll get the full size image. And it gives you a really nice effect with the light box. But Okay, so it looks like that's all completed. Um, I, I did forget to mention, you can also add a gallery here. Um, you can upload zip files, you can image, you can import an image folder, the entire folder. So there's lots of different ways that you could do it. So now that we've got our gallery uploaded with pictures and, and it has a title, we're going to go ahead and create an album. So if you scroll back down here and click on album, and we're going to add a new album, we'll call it, um, Volunteer Appreciation Dinner. And we'll select Add. So this is our album. And to add the photos, um, your gallery is over on the side here. All you need to do is click and drag your gallery over into the album. And that's it. Then you hit Update. And you're done. So the first thing that you'll do is go to select the page that you want the images to fall on. And I'm going to put it on my photo gallery page. So I'll just click edit. And as you can see, um, the way that the images go on the page is that there, there's this code that you add. And it's kind of, um, it's kind of different, so, um, but it's very easy to do. 
um, I'm just going to copy the same exact template. I don't know if you've noticed, but when you created the album, it, w it gave it an ID of 11. So, um, and we're going to go with the same, there's, there's different templates that you can do, um, and this one is the compact template. So, I'll just leave it as album ID 11, template compact, and I'll hit update. And then when we go to the front of that page, um, you'll see that a new album has been added. Volunteer Appreciation with the seven photos. And I can click on it, and I can view my images. So just to give you a, a bit more detail with the albums, um, I'll show you how you can customize and add um, image titles and that. Go to the back end of the website and we're going to go straight to um, uh, Manage Gallery. And the images that we just added are right here. We can edit them simply by cl clicking on the title of the gallery. And you can add a description of the um, gallery here. Um, you can add the preview image. Um, right now they're all kind of numbers because that's how we uploaded them. Um, but we can retitle them here. So, um, you know, we can add whatever title we want. We can also add um, a description, we can add tags. Um, these are all great tools for SEO if you're trying to make your images uh, searchable on the internet. Um, that's what you could do. Um, I'm not sure why they include this, but you can also exclude certain images from the gallery. I'm not sure why you would do that, but that option's there. So um, once you make all your changes, you would just hit save changes at the bottom and then it'll save all your changes so you'll have a, a nice description of um, your gallery and this this helps to make it more searchable so that would be um, all that there is to show you with the um, next gen gallery plugin feature I hope that you've enjoyed this video and um, I look forward to making other videos in the future. If there's a topic that you wish uh, me to cover, please um, feel free to leave a comment below or send me an email. Um, or if you have any questions about NextGen Gallery, I'd be happy to answer those questions as well. So thank you so much for your time and have a great day.